Good morning, everybody. Chester ARP Church Devotional Podcast. Clint Davis, your host. We get started in just a second. Genesis chapter 12. Mitchell's going to bring us in the rest of the way. All the way my Savior leads me. Gives me grace for every trial. Feeds me with the living. All right. Well, thank you so much for being with us as we get started here with the podcast this morning. And as we do, we'll do so in uh, a good opportunity here to worship God together, but also study our God's word as we get our day going. Genesis 12, beginning in verse 10. Here we go. There was a famine in the land, so Abram went down to Egypt to stay there for a while because the famine in the land was severe. And when he was about to enter Egypt, he said to his wife, Sarai, look, I know what a beautiful woman you are, and when the Egyptians see you, they will say, this is his wife, and they will kill me but let you live. Please say that you're my sister, so it will go well for me because of you, and my wife will be spared on your account, or my life will be spared on your account. When Abram entered Egypt, the Egyptians saw that the woman was very beautiful, and Pharaoh's officials saw her and praised her to Pharaoh. So the woman was taken to Pharaoh's household, and he treated Abram well because of her, and Abram acquired flocks and herds and male and female donkeys, male and female slaves, and camels. <coughs> Excuse me. But the Lord struck Pharaoh and his household with severe plagues because Abram's wife was Sarai. So Pharaoh sent for me, so Pharaoh sent for Abram and said, What have you done to me? Why didn't you tell me this was your wife? Why did you say she is my sister, so that I took her as my wife? Now here is your wife, take her and go. Then Pharaoh gave his men orders about them, and they sent him away with his wife and all that he had. Now, there was a famine in the land of Canaan. We read that last time we were together. Abram was called by the Lord to follow him. Abram follows the Lord to where the Lord would lead him. The Lord leads him to the land of Canaan. A great famine in the land, so Abram was looking for food. He goes down to Egypt. We would expect that. He's looking for where he can buy food. And so he goes to Egypt where the Lord has brought blessing upon the Egyptians. And typically that blessing came as a result of the flooding of the Nile. And so brought all the delta out into the fields around the Nile. And uh, that was a yearly occurrence and plenty of water, moist soil that um, grew good food. And so they went down to Egypt to get food. On the way down to Egypt, Abraham knows that He's about to get himself in trouble because Sarah is a beautiful woman. And he knows and he perceives that if he can tell the folks in Egypt that this woman uh, is his sister, that they won't kill him and take her for for themselves, but they'll let his life uh, live and they'll spare his life. And so he concocts this plan with Sarah and says, tell him you're my sister. She tells him he has, uh, she is his sister. He tells them that she is his sister. They let Abram live and, um, Pharaoh takes Sarai into his house. Pharaoh makes her his wife, and then the Lord brings these plagues upon her. And she, uh, excuse me, the Lord brings these plagues upon the household. He finds out that Sarai is Abram's wife, and so he sends her back to Abram. Why is this story in the Bible? Well, that's a good question. And ultimately, only God knows, and ultimately, only God um, <clears throat> can tell us. But to me, it seems that one of the main lessons to learn from this and one of the main reasons this is in the story of Abram is Abram was a man who by faith followed the Lord and he received righteousness and it was credited to him. Paul says in Romans chapter four that Abraham was, quote, justified by his faith just as you and I are. And so he's a man of great faith. He's one of the first people mentioned in the hall of faith in Hebrews chapter 11. And when you think about the Old Testament saints, you tend to think about Abram being a man of faith. Abram was living in the land of Chaldeans. God comes to him and sees him there and says, "Get up and follow me." He goes to Ter- he takes he goes to Haran with his father and stays there for a while. After his father dies, he follows the Lord into the land of Canaan, and so he's a man of great faith. But then we see him going to Egypt right after he inherited the promised land, looking for food, and he tells a lie and concocts a plan to survive the trip to Egypt out of his own will and his own ability. He doesn't trust the Lord. And so we see him faltering in his faith. And so to me, this story's in here because it shows us the lack of faith of Abraham and the dangers that come as a result of failing to trust the Lord. He should have trusted the Lord in Egypt, that the Lord indeed would have, um, you know, 
preserved his life. The Lord had called Abram to be the father of the nations. This is a pattern we see in Abram. We'll see it later on uh, in the next chapter and in the chapters that follow. The Lord, right, has called Abram and says, you're going to be a great nation. I'm going to bless the world through your descendants. But yet Abram doesn't trust the Lord. Why, If the Lord has made that promise to Abram, why in the world would the Lord let Abram die in Egypt? But he doesn't trust the Lord. Concocts this plan. He hurts a lot of people, hurts his wife Sarah by putting her in a position to have to be a wife of Pharaoh. He hurts Pharaoh's house and all of these things because he doesn't trust the Lord. We also see the Lord's grace in this. The Lord is gracious. There are consequences. Don't don't miss that. I mean, when Sarah becomes or Sarai becomes Pharaoh's wife, then that obviously you would imagine the, the marriage is consummated. And so he puts her in a position to be uh, in the bed with another man. And there is certainly harm and there's brokenness and there's pain that comes from that. And yet he deal with those conse- He had to deal with those consequences because he failed to trust the Lord's good plan. And I think that's an interesting point, but I think it's an important point for us as we go through this. And I think that's perhaps one that's in the Bible. This is an odd story, but it's a story that shows us a man lacking faith, having to do the consequences of that faith. But we also see a God who is gracious enough um, to care for him. And those consequences, though he had to endure them, didn't disqualify him, but yet they were severe uh, for Pharaoh, they were severe for Sarah, and they were severe for Abram. You guys take care. God bless you. Remember that. Think about that as you seek to honor the Lord with your life today. Uh, Mitch takes us out because our Savior is indeed faithful to us. You can.